On a cold, still morning in Yellowstone National Park in the United States, a roar is heard from the bowels of the earth. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest geyser, is erupting again, spewing hot water and steam more than 300 feet into the sky. This is not only a spectacular natural spectacle, but also a symbol of the ongoing geological dynamics of our planet. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in the Alps, glaciers in Switzerland are slowly melting. There are no eruptions or roars, but the changes taking place there are far more dramatic than dramatic. Ice sheets that have built up over thousands of years are collapsing in a matter of seconds. And across the Pacific, Hawaii's Kilauea, a volcano known for its effusive lava eruptions, is continuing its 23rd activity. Lava flows quietly but steadily, forming new land masses and permanently changing the landscape of the tropical island. Steamboat Geyser is located in Yellowstone's Norris Geyser Basin, the area with the highest geothermal activity in the park. The eruption is not as scheduled as Old Faithful, but when it does occur, it can be the most powerful in the world. The eruption, which sent steam, hot water and rock fragments 300 feet into the air this morning, reminded the world that Yellowstone is not just a beautiful park, but also an active supervolcano caldera that continues to pump energy from deep within the Earth. But the eruption stood out for its intensity and impact with geologists and visitors reporting strong tremors and rumbling sounds before the eruption adding to the tension. Some visitors reportedly panicked and left the area. While no fatalities have been reported, the incident highlights the importance of being vigilant and prepared for unpredictable natural phenomena. Yellowstone National Park officials, however, have issued warnings and urged visitors to stay away from the geyser area until it is deemed safe. Scientists note that steamboat eruptions are often preceded by rising underground temperatures and micro-seismic activity symptoms of the complex dynamics of heat and pressure beneath the surface. However, scientists say that the eruption of steamboat geyser is still within the normal and safe range of activity. There is no indication of any significant problems beneath the Earth's crust that would lead to dangerous volcanic activity in the near future. And not far away, a glacier in Switzerland collapsed with great and unstoppable force. On May 28, 2025, a major natural disaster struck the Swiss Alps, hitting thousands of residents. The massive collapse of the Birch Glacier in the Swiss Alps triggered a massive avalanche of ice, mud and rocks that almost completely buried the mountain village of Blatten in the canton of Valais. Authorities had evacuated Blatten's 300 residents days earlier when they detected signs of instability in the mountain, preventing a major humanitarian tragedy. However, the scale of the disaster was shocking. Many homes and roads were lost, and at least one person was reported missing, a 64-year-old man, after the avalanche. A huge debris avalanche descended the Lotchentel Valley after the collapse of the Birch Glacier, sweeping through the Swiss village of Blatten yesterday. The avalanche was triggered at around 15.30, local time, on Wednesday, May 28, when a large section of the Birch Glacier fell down the slope. 
In a matter of seconds, millions of tons of ice, soil and rocks fell from the 3,341M High Klein's Nesthorn Mountain and swept away everything in the valley in its path. Blatten was almost wiped off the map. The mud flow covered around 90% of the town in a blanket of mud and debris. Drone footage shows the moment when the enormous mass of material came down at high speed, producing a deafening roar and a thick cloud of dust that blanketed the valley. The force of the avalanche was such that the debris wave even partially rose up the opposite slope of the valley, indicating the enormous energy released. According to initial estimates, the amount of material mobilized was around 3.5 million cubic meters, equivalent to around 9 million tons. Scientists have linked the disaster to climate change, which is causing global warming. Since the 1970s, average temperatures in the Swiss Alps have risen by about 3 degrees Celsius, accelerating the melting of glaciers and increasing the risk of natural disasters such as avalanches. The event is a stark reminder of the importance of climate change mitigation and disaster preparedness in mountainous regions. And now, across the Pacific, the Eternal Eruption enters Episode 23. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano put on a dramatic show Sunday night, sending a fountain of lava more than 1,000 feet into the air. The six-hour eruption, which ended at 10.25 p.m., local time marked the 23rd episode in a series of eruptions that began last December. The event began at 4.15 p.m. local time when a thin stream of lava began erupting from the volcano's north vent, according to the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory HVO. Within just 30 minutes, that jet grew into a towering fountain that reached more than 1,000 feet high, HVO said, approaching the height of the Empire State Building, or roughly twice the height of the Washington Monument. An hour later, a second fountain erupted from the south vent, reaching a height of about 800 feet, HVO said. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported that the dramatic eruption produced a massive lava flow that covered about half of the floor of the Halamauma U crater. According to their measurements, the volcanic plume from the eruption reached more than 14,000 feet into the sky. While the eruption may sound alarming, HVO scientists said there is no immediate danger to nearby communities from the lava. All activity remains within the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and no unusual activity has been observed along other parts of the volcano. The eruption could still produce some hazards that residents should be aware of, officials said. The volcano is releasing sulfur dioxide that creates what locals call VOG, volcanic fog, when it reacts in the atmosphere, according to HVO. The eruption also created Pele's hair, dangerous strands of volcanic glass that float in the air and can burn people's skin and eyes, HVO warned. Additionally, high levels of volcanic gas in the area pose a risk to people nearby, especially those with respiratory problems, the agency said. According to scientists at HVO, another eruption could be imminent. The volcano has been following a pattern of erupting about once per week since December 2024. 
After each eruption, the volcano begins to expand as magma builds underground, preparing for the next show.